Taylor Swift makes a generous donation, Tom Holland and Denzaya have a date night, and Amy Schumer hits back at body shamers. Hello and welcome back to A Quick Look, a pop culture show where I'll be taking you through the biggest headlines in entertainment and current events. I'm Zoe Jewell and let's get into the show. Starting off on a sad but also very heartfelt piece of news, Taylor Swift has just donated $100,000 to the family of the woman that was tragically killed during the Chief Super Bowl parade this past week. So I'm sure many of you have seen the news, have heard about the tragic, tragic shooting that occurred at the Chiefs parade this past week. Absolutely devastating. One woman very tragically passed away following the shooting. Her name was Lisa Lopez Galvin, and a GoFundMe was created on Thursday for her and her family with the goal of reaching and making $75 thousand dollars but that goal was quickly surpassed just a few hours after the gofundme was created thanks to none other than taylor swift so taylor swift it actually ended up happening in the middle of the night in the states but it was probably at a reasonable hour for her in Australia, where she is continuing her heiress tour, she made two donations of $50,000 to the GoFundMe for Lisa's family. This is what Taylor said um, when she made the, the donations. Sending my deepest sympathies and condolences in the wake of your devastating loss with love, Taylor Swift. This was such a kind gesture by Taylor. So many other wonderful, amazing people also donated to this GoFundMe, but it really says a lot about her and her heart that she blew the goal amount of 75K out the window before 24 hours had even passed. Um, really, really kind, really heartfelt. And despite the fact that what has happened in Kansas City has been absolutely devastating and tragic, it has been... I think really heartwarming to see how many people have come together to not only support these families, but to support Kansas City. Um, and it, it seems like in the most tragic, devastating, heartbreaking moments, the real humanity and, and, and people's hearts and love and kindness shines through. And I think we, we're seeing that with what Taylor was able to give, what so many other people have been able to give to the victims. And that is really heartwarming. And it honestly made me think about just a few months ago, Travis Kelsey, Taylor's boyfriend, mentioned that Taylor, she's a part of Chief's Kingdom now. She, she's, she's, a, she's a proud member of Chief's Kingdom and her donating $100,000 to Lisa's family just proves again that Chief's Kingdom, we always look out for each other. We all, we're, we're all there for each other and we're there to support each other, which I think is really beautiful. All right, moving on to some happier, lighter news. Tom Holland and Zendaya, who are notoriously extremely private, have stepped out for a little date night. Now, it was the premiere of Dune Part 2 this week. Zendaya, Timothy Chalamet, Florence Pugh, all the stars of the film were at the premiere. Um, and while Tom was not at the actual premiere, or we didn't see him at the actual premiere, he was spotted with Zendaya at the after party. Now, these two who started dating after they met and fell in love on the set of Spider-Man, which I think most people know this by now, but it is kind of crazy that there's been three versions of Spider-Man, and, and, and in every version, the Spider-Man and main love interest character have all ended up dating. Toby and um, Kirsten Dunst, Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone, and now Tom Holland and Zendaya. It goes to show that the casting department on the Spider-Man films does a very, very, very good job of finding people who have actual, legit chemistry with each other. But as I said, spotted together, out and about, they are so private. They are very rarely ever seen together. Uh, when, when they are seen together, it's like, oh my gosh, there they are. They're 
they're together. Uh, and they've been together for a long time now. So it's it's great to see them that they're still going strong. I think Tom and Zendaya are a lot of people's favorite celebrity couple. Um, probably right up there with like Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift. So I think if, if you are a Tom Holland, Zendaya stan, you can breathe a sigh of relief knowing that they're still together, that they're still happy. Also, we need to talk about what Zendaya wore to the Dune premiere because, wow, she is a fashion icon. She is known for having these bold, very like fashion forward looks, but this was something else. She showed up in like a futuristic metallic, almost like a robot type of ensemble. She looked like a silver C-3PO. It was, I could never pull it off. I would never choose to wear it because I don't have that kind of confidence, but she pulled it off. She looked fantastic. I, I thought it was great. And I can't wait to see what else she wears during this Dune movie press cycle because again, Zendaya just always comes with the most interesting, unique fashion. And I can't wait to see it. All right, last piece of news to cover today. Amy Schumer is clapping back, hitting back at body shamers who have been making unnecessary rude comments about her appearance as of late. So here's what happened. Amy Schumer has been appearing on some TV shows over the last week, Jimmy Fallon, The View, and a lot of people are having a lot of opinions on the way that she looks, which is something we'll get into in, 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 in just a second. But Amy clapped back at these haters on Instagram. Here's what she said. Thank you so much for everyone's input about my face. I've enjoyed feedback and deliberation about my appearance as a woman for almost 20 years. And you're right, it's puffier than normal right now. Amy then revealed that the reason her face seems a little bit puffier than it typically has been in the past is because she has been battling endometriosis and she's been dealing with some hormone stuff. So this is what she said about that. There are some medical and hormonal things going on in, in my world right now, but I'm okay. I also believe a woman doesn't need an excuse for her physical appearance and owes no explanation, but I wanted to take the opportunity to advocate for self-love and acceptance of the skin you're in. Okay. Love what Amy said. Love that she is advocating for body positivity, but also people need to stop commenting on the way women look. If you see a woman, whether you know her or you do not know her, don't say anything about the way that she looks, even if you think it's positive. Even if you think you're, you're saying a compliment by saying, oh, you look, you know, look like you've lost weight or you look like this has changed about your face or your body or whatever. Even if you think your heart's in the right place, don't do it because you never know why someone looks the way that they look and what's going on with them physically, internally, mentally. You just don't know. You don't know and it's not your place. So just do everyone a favor and keep your comments to yourself. If you have something mean to say about somebody, do what everybody else does and text your friend. Text your friend and say, oh my gosh, X, Y, Z. But you don't need to comment it publicly to everyone and, to, and especially to the person who your comments are about. It's just, just don't do it. It's not that hard. Um, all right, guys, with that, that is our show. Thank you so much for watching today. Please make sure to comment, to subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.